Welcome to the Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Heavens of Sorcery. <laughs> I'm still having fun with the fart in a jar. So I, I've decided to forego my chest plate for now. Um, I mean, it's here in my craft, in my cosmetic armor slot, should I really need it. But for now, I think I'm going to go without. Um, and as you you perhaps have noticed, I have built myself a little island. I used some of the, uh, those, what do you call it, the vivid seeds, vivid pasture seeds um, to make these. I actually had a few in my uh, drawer over there. This took a long time to make. <laughs> much longer than I had anticipated but it does have the effect that I wanted that of like kind of a, a crumbling plateau of an island uh, it, it, I may expand it I'm I'm undecided as of yet I also made a small uh, cactus island over here which I used uh, a golden pasture seed on <laughs> and uh, I, I kind of like this this is pretty neat the, and the idea was so that I could get cactus green. Currently, if I harvest this, I get, what, 23 cactus from that? And a seed. Cool. Let's actually jump over here. I don't know. Just, oh, it requires an axe. I wonder if I can... Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, gosh. Am I going to lose all the cactus? <laughs> I've yet to actually harvest these. No, I have them. And I've got plenty of seeds here as well. So might as well just do that and flop myself over here yeah or fart myself over here one way or another but the idea was so that i could get some of that oh geez i keep getting some of this stuff every now and then from the, the tub whenever it was raining Ugh. but um i'm gonna put the cactus in actually i'll put the seeds in here but i'm gonna put the cactus itself in with the greenery probably should put the seeds in here anyway but oh well it's it's here for when I need the, the green. And the reason being is because you can make pasture seeds for most other seeds, but then you have to add green dye to make the vivid ones. But now I have a way of uh, mass producing that should I want to, instead of waiting for this to spread. Like I just went AFK for a bit and it, it, it spread by itself. Um, but I could have just made a bunch more seeds and just plopped them down and it would have been done lickety split. But hey, I got mana glass and we're going to get into it today. So let's see what we have lined up. Um, oh, I ended up going to the Misty World and getting, hold on a second, let's go all the way back here, the last of the latex that I need. But there's a slight problem that I only have 14 sulfur, so I can't, I can't do it enough to make the entire thing for that. Um, I think it wants me to make, what all does it want me to make? Just one rubber ball that's all i need to complete this quest which it's latex and sulfur and of course you can get sulfur in misty world let's just do one for the moment because i have no idea how much i'm going to get uh as a yield from this but yeah look 43 i've got so many i made so many pots on those trees <laughs> and then i chunk loaded it and while i was making this island and stuff that yeah i, I got a bunch so I don't know how this works though because I'm looking here and the melter it, it doesn't say anything about it needing latex for processing it into rubber stamp sulfur mined in misty world with latex liquid latex and a bar stamp which is confusing because this is just a melter not a mixer centrifuge so therefore I'm not sure how to do two items unless I'm putting this in there and then I'm going to add the uh, the latex, I guess. I mean, I could try this. Put that in there. And it should have enough, like, fuel already to just process this, uh, the stuff, I would hope. I guess I'll find out. There it goes. I... Okay. Hey, it worked. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> and I get more latex and more <laughs> more latex pots. I should have done that a little earlier. It would have saved me crafting a couple latex pots. But I now have plenty of that. It's just the, uh, the sulfur for me to make a complete set for that to really work very well. Um, I've got extra stuff now. Well, this is going to my tools chest. And the rubber ball is very valuable, so it's going in my valuables chest. And I think that completes that chapter completely now. Because, yeah, place a latex pot in a rubber tree and wait for it to fill. Pictured to collect latex. Yes, we did that. Oh, here we go. Yep. So I need one of each of these parts. 
Oof. Oh, 30 Niobium. That's actually pretty impressive. I only got one ball from that, though, and I don't have enough sulfur. Suppose I could go mining for it. I don't need that one for the, uh, for the quest, though. And I think people have been telling me that you can combine this with your uh, existing armor suit, which eventually I'm going to tra change this stuff out. So I don't know that I really want to do that. Uh, but also in the Misty World, I'm in kind of a savanna area, so it doesn't really rain uh, in that biome when it's raining. So that's kind of a good thing. I don't really need to worry about it so much. But for now, we're going to move on to other chapters. I mean, if you look here, chapter three, th that's all that's left is just make some make a rubber suit, which I don't even want to apply it to anything just yet. So I'm going to leave it. We're going to continue on over here with the magics of the arcanist, uh, which, yeah, we already got a bunch of those. We can start getting into a little bit of a few new mods, I think. I don't think that we, well, this is Batania-esque at least, but we've got Arcane Archives. If you're not familiar with that, it's a really cool uh, thematic or magic the magic themed uh, storage area, which actually, now that I think about it, let's, let's claim this area too. There we go. And I had the, I, I have this one area chunk loaded just so that I can get that one little drop of iron every now and then. Look at that. I got 42 just from, you know, messing about with this stuff. Not, not too bad because <laughs> I, I used that up some time ago. But let's check out the other quests that we have in Arcanist's Magics. Turn a new leaf. All right. So the first thing you'll need from these new dimensions is simply just some of the long grass here. The Unchanging light in the ever bright and ever dawn means these grow with rather unique properties. Mix it with materials from the aether to make brilliant fiber. Then use it on some leaves to transform them and harvest the resulting gold leaf. Oh, leaves. Um, I don't think I have any regular leaves. I could probably trim some of these, but I really like these trees. I could probably plant one and just like trim the heck out of it real quick. Uh, let's. Oh, there's an ironberry seed in here that shouldn't be there, so that's perfect. Grab that, a bunch of bone meal. Um, I have in one of these urns, there we go, my Man of Steel Shears, which is ideal as well. Uh, and then we can use that. So let's just go over to this lush, vivid area, which I should probably go a little faster. There we go. Plant one of these down. Bone meal the heck out of it. And I might as well bone meal it a little bit bigger so that I can get the lee get some of the, uh, the wood from it too, because I'm almost out of iron wood again. But, uh, you know, it's not exactly very difficult to get that. Just a matter of time. There we go. And then I just trim this around. Uh, let's actually go up. Ooh. And... Oh, it's perfect. Because the leaves just grow back. <laughs> wow, look at that. I got 125 just like that. Yeah. It, the, these trees don't don't like being um, uh, what do you call it uh, trimmed too easily because they will just grow back to uh, make it a little bit more full and proper looking. Um, can I use this on here? Will it work? Yes, it does. <laughs> because it's got efficiency four or five on it now. I think it, that's probably the only reason why it worked. But there we go. I now have a whole bunch of wood and a bunch of leaves. And then we can, we can use this to make a whole bunch of stuff. All right. Um, in fact, I do just want to get rid of those real quick. I also got a bit more seeds. Um, these don't belong in there. They belong in here. But those belong in there. There we go. All right. So I've got those. I also have... Where did I put those? Oh, I've still got... I still have three dungeon keys. Ooh, I'm going to have to go back and claim those. Maybe we'll get more of those arcs. They're pretty darn cool. Um... Let me see if I can find where I put this grass. Ugh, I have too many these things going on. Man, I have, I, I have the grass. All right, so continuing on, I need to make brilliant fibers, which is going to say turquoise grass, moonstone shards, gold nugs, and some golden oak leaves. Wait a minute. I just harvested the wrong... Well, I've got more, I've got more <laughs> leaves. I guess I'm going to need to grow some golden oaks. And we'll have to go from there. So let's do a couple of those. Even worse. I don't even need that. This bone meal? Don't need that either. Reason being, I I just looked in here. And, oh, it wasn't there. It was in here. 
I already have golden oak leaves. Ugh. Don't you hate those facepalm moments? This is the problem, is that I've got way too much stuff. I need to actually focus on getting my uh, inventory sorting a little bit better. <laughs> so right now, I just can't store enough in some of these smaller ones like this. Or I've got some of my specialized, uh, you know, mod ones in those. I really need to focus a little bit more on that, but not today. Not today. So I just need some moonstone shards and some gold nugs, which I've got a few moonstone shards. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> and gold nugs. Got a few of those too, so I should be all right. Uh, let's see if I can actually make the brilliant fivers. Yes, I have... Heck, I'll just make eight of them for now. Might as well, because nobody's losing any sleep if uh, I, I use up the turquoise grass. But I now have these, and I can use them on the regular leaves that I just got. Probably, I hope. At least that's what I was interpreting it as. Yeah, slowly transforms over time. Once fully transformed, you can see particles indicating the leaves are ready to be harvested. So there's the different types of leaves that you can use, which are slowly cycling through. And you can make golden leaves. All right. And I think that's all it wants me. Oh, a gold leaf and brilliant fibers, which I have the brilliant fibers. Heck, let's just put these gold leaves right here. And in fact, what I'm going to do is grab this. Put that frame back. I don't know why it always breaks whenever I do that. It shouldn't, but it does. And then I can just do a few of these where I just kind of place a bunch and then I put some fibers down. Uh, we'll put one at each corner. There we go. And in fact, I'm going to kind of put a few more on some of these locations just to get them going a little bit quicker. There we go. All right. So now to put. Heck, I might put some more of these on here. I don't... Yeah, they're going to just keep spreading. So that's actually really cool. Um, can I... Oh, no, they, they spread too quickly. All right. Well, I'm just going to keep putting a bunch of these down, and this should make sure that I get more than my share <laughs> of the, uh, the, res the resulting leaves that I will need. All right, so to start, I'm just going to go in the middle, finish this off. There we go. And clear a space to this while the rest of these leaves are all being transformed. All right, I can probably go one more layer. There we go. That's pretty good. And I'll just leave the, the rest of this for a moment while I continue reading on with the rest of the book. So I got the reward for that, which was, oh, the Book of Natural Aura, which there it is. Nice. All right, so let's switch this, put this in place, and then we can start adding in the new book. Oh boy, our book of books. Bookception, one might say. There we go. And that's all set. Uh, what's next? Because that was only one of a few. Into the Woods and Terrestrial. Uh, we're going to hold off on that one. Into the Woods. With gold leaf in hand, you can prepare a site for rituals which focus on, or which focus the latent power of the trees from the ever bright and ever dawn. For this, you'll need eight wood stands and sixteen gold powder placed in rings surrounding a sapling. Start rituals by growing the sapling. All right, so we need eight wood stands, sixteen gold powder to start. Yeah, having more gold powder is going to be very important later on. Oh, to make those, so we'll need the starlit wood. Sapphires and gold leaves on a ritual table as well. And that should make one of those, most likely. Oh, we can turn gold leaves into gold powder on a grindstone. Oh, that's kind of cool. I, I like that idea. It is now required to have all wood stands present. The gold powder will be consumed when crafting. Okay. And then it tells you how to make all these different tokens, which will be uh, basically you're using ingredients. Whoa. Horiz horizon horizonite sword xanite shield oh wow okay um so you're basically using these to make these and then you can use these for other ingredients <laughs> so you're using ingredients to make ingredients but obviously you're gonna have to quest for these different things bottled sunlight <laughs> that one's pretty easy to get all right so let me see about getting some wooden stands and some gold powder all right there we go i had to go back into <laughs> One of the portals to get enough wood for this because I only had seven. I didn't have eight. But we're going to see just how much this is actually going to create. In fact, I'm going to grab this. That gave me one. 
So I'm going to keep casting this while I harvest up the rest of these. I'll be right back. And there we go, into the woods. That should do it. I've got more than enough wooden stands for what I need. I need to put this uh, wand back where I found it. it. Um, that that didn't go as I thought it would. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Sorry about the fluctuating hand there. Should probably take that off for now, just so that I don't flutter around like crazy. There we go. All right, so uh, let's continue on with this. We got the rewards, so we can now make that. But why would we want to do that? Well, there's plenty in nature's aura for us to do. Uh, it's only natural. Sounds like it's the the appropriate direction. And that's that's actually why I made this, because I know that nature's aura usually requires a bit of an open space. And as it's more nature-y, I wanted it to be, well, more nature-type thing. And I didn't want it to be as symmetrical as the rest of it. I, I like having my base look a little bit more janky. Some symmetry in some places, but I feel like having it kind of breaking up into different spots is a little more interesting to me. Um, so let's continue on with this. Another important tool of nature, natural magics, is the natural altar. Unlike the ritual of the fort, forest, it directly utilizes the local aura to imbue objects with potent natural energies. For now, let's use it to transform a redstone root into a wild root. Oh, exciting. This is good. All right, so I need a natural altar to make a wild root. All right, natural altar. Natural altar. Um, oh, that requires a token of joy. <laughs> all right, I got rid of all my saplings. Let me go grab a few items and I'll show you what in the heck we're going to be doing next. All right, so I've gathered a bunch of materials down there for the things that we're going to need to make a natural altar. That being, basically, as you see here, a bunch of holy stone, a token of joy, diopside gemstones, which we got last time, and gold leaves, plus blue bright saplings. Here's the thing. I don't have blue bright saplings. I got the uh, the, the sky saplings from, from there. So I will need to go back into the Everbright to get some of those. That should be relatively easy. But the token of joy that I need is made up of other things. That being gold leaf, any of the mystical flowers from Batania, illumination powder, which you can make, but I also actually have a few left over from my raid uh, dungeon raids, bottled sunlight, which you just click with an empty bottle during the daytime and you get sunlight, turquoise gemstones I got last time, more blue right saplings, but it's this, the, uh, the horizonite ingot. I, I hear the music. It's very distracting. Uh, sorry, but we're going to need to find horizonite ore found deep beneath the crystal dunes, which is what I saw last time but didn't actually explore underneath. So we're going to have to go uh, a little bit of a mining adventure. So first, let me go to the Everbright and see if I can find one of those trees. And as luck would have it, I'm pretty sure these are the ones that I'm looking for here. We've got blue bright wood. Yep, I think this is going to be them. So if I break some of the wood that's connected to all these leaves, I should hopefully end up getting what I'm looking for here. I don't know if there's like a, an enchant that allows me to just like excavate an entire tree or something, but there we go. Any any luck? Did I get any? No saplings. Well, I might as well grab the wood at least. Looks like I'm going to need to do a little bit more uh, chopping around here. Got it. Ah, I heard that. All right. Oh, I actually was getting a bunch of them in my inventory. Oh, I, I picked up the, the cooked venison. Oh my gosh. Would you stop? Go away. And I could probably tame some rats at this point since I've got cows, I've got cauldrons. Oh, I've got trouble. Let's make a double. Uh, let's go. Come on. That's one down. Oh, he's got a lightning. A lightning attack. That was pretty good. I like that. Come here. Nope. There we go. Complete. What do we get? Ring of glaciation. Some spell books and some crystals. I really don't need the paper. In fact, I'm going to get rid of all these uh, 
rat drops because <laughs> I really don't want those. I could harvest up more of these uh, rune stones. I can't remember if I need these for anything. No, they just look really cool. Hmm. But I think what I'm going to do is continue on, head back to the portal over here, uh, and I'm going to head into the Ever Dawn, I believe. Or, or is it Ever Twilight? I can't remember. I'm going to go into the other portal. We're going to check that one out so I can find the Crystal Desert. Yeah, ever dawn. Okay, so if I recall properly, let's bring up the map. I found really far away Crystal Desert, which is where I think I need to go. Well, there's another one over here. That was actually where I found some of the other stuff. I think that's actually a bit closer to where I am. Where am I? Right here? Maybe I just go a bit east and a little bit south, and I should find what I'm looking for. I'll be back once I'm there. Alright, there's one right there. Crystal Desert with all sorts of baddies in it. As well as... Oh. More wizards! But these ones I think are probably fire wizards. Which makes sense. I'm also blinded. That's, that's great. Come here. Yeah, get zapped. <laughs> My darn lightning bolt. Ah, and those darn guys over there. They they see... Yes, get smited. You too. All of you. Stop it. With your little pew-pews. Gosh, they they just don't really stand a chance against that, do they? All right. Get any goodies in here? Soul wake walkers ring. Creatures damaged by necromancy spells become soul-bound to you. Ooh. That's interesting. And then these are like more fiery runes. Oh, these are really cool. All right, so now I just need to either find a place to dig down. What are these? Are these owls? Yes, they are from Bewitchment and the more ravens. Which, by the way, I, I think I ended up losing some raven feathers earlier. There we go. <laughs> Nine of them. Jeez, looting sword for the win. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find, uh, hey, a way down that might be disguised around here. Maybe there's, yeah, this might be a little bit easier than digging my entire way down. So I'm going to look around, see if I can find a path down. Maybe I'll find these ores I'm looking for. Hi, I'm Mr. Meekly. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, time to pull out the big guns. Not finding what I'm looking for, so therefore... We're going to enlist some help. <laughs> I think I've found what I'm looking for, thanks to these little guys. I did start going into the wrong direction a little bit. Um, by uh, <laughs> Effectively, I started going into the, the woods over here, but that's all right. I was able to correct my mistake, and it has been proven fruitful. Okay, and with that, I'm able to get 14 of that ore, which has been quite nice. So I'm just going to head back up with my wings. Ooh, oh, 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 hopefully I don't get stuck in places. Ugh. And then I should be able to go back home. There it is, the sky. There we go. I now have a couple of haras horizonite ingots i guess that's how it's pronounced i'm not really sure but i should have enough of everything else here i just need to actually set out some kind of display for this to actually work so yeah that that's for the that's for making the altar but first let's just set up how we can actually uh craft things normally with the turn turn a new leaf item i think it might have an image it doesn't. I guess it's going to be in the book itself, which we have here. Yay. All right, introduction, book, or conceptually magical botany. I am familiar with those. Brilliant trees, ritual of the forest. This, this is what we're looking for. So let's visualize this. I'm going to go into F5 mode. I am still invisible, so that actually is somewhat convenient here. Let's put this out in this area right here. 
uh, there. There we go. All right, that works. <laughs> now you can actually see where to place all the stuff, like these. Makes it a lot easier to work with. Plus it tells you the progress at the top there, how far you're getting. Um, I will need a bunch of gold powder. And the gold powder often is going to need to be replaced every time. Just don't place the sapling down in the middle until you're done. So what I'm going to do in the meantime, though, is bring this book up, cancel that visualization, because you put the tree in there and it grows to activate the ritual. And then you get the item in the center. So what we're going to try and make is a token of joy. And that means I need a bunch of these things. Oh, I need some bottles. I forgot about that. I'm just whoa, doing a bit of a float. Don't worry, my wings keep on getting mending anytime I kill things or just get XP. Uh, it, they get mended as well as my sword now. So those are the only two mending items I currently have, short of my, um, my chest plate, which I thought that had mending on it. No, that's right. I switched it out because this one here has mending, but it also has a, um, an elytra. So I <laughs> didn't want to do doubles on those. So let's see about grabbing some glass bottles. I don't have any glass bottles. I have very little glass in general, but I think these three should be enough for me to make regular glass bottles. Yes, thank goodness they're regular glass bottles. I'm going to make it uh, daytime. I, I don't think it has to be daytime, but I'm going to do it just because of the theme of it. Bottled sunlight makes more sense, you know, when it's daytime. Right? No? Uh-oh. All right, hold on a second. Oh, right. Use a bottle and cork. Okay, bottle, cork. There we go. That's what I need. Not just a bottle. All right, so I need the bottles plus uh, some wood planks. That should do. All right, one, two, three. And in fact, get rid of these. Actually, no, I want some of those. I just realized <laughs> I need the seeds. The seeds are important. All right, so this plus bottles. And this way I don't accidentally... There we go, and I have three bottles of sunlight. Excellent. And then I can just fly my way back over here. Whee! A little bit glitching into the, the ground there, but don't worry about it. So, the recipe for a token of joy doesn't have to be in these exact locations. It just has to be somewhere on these stands around here. So, let's see. First thing I need, some illumination powder. Let's get that. There we go. And then next, we're going to need bottled sunlight. There we go, and I have two open spaces left, which is appropriate because we have two open spaces here, and I need a blue bright sapling to grow in the middle. Now you can feasibly wait, <laughs> but I'm not much of one for waiting, so I'm going to go get some uh, bone meal and make this grow. All right, I'm back, and there we go. That that didn't do anything. Okay, so. This is me doing something wrong. So the problem that I experienced was right here. I thought that was illumination powder. It was gold powder. So now I need to break this chonky tree down and uh, fix things. All right, let's try this again. One blue bright sapling, then bone meal. Yeah, that's working. All right, you should see the particles. Everything gets used and then zap just like that i don't need to cut the tree down and i get two tokens of joy hooray <laughs> i am pretty happy that i have those though trust me on that all right um i'm gonna keep i'll keep that here for now um put all the rest of this stuff in here for now now the next part the natural altar or na yeah natural altar we need four holy stone or one two three holy stone and I just counted four for some reason then we're going to need one of the diopside gemstones and then one token of joy and one sapling to grow it off with all right so let's put this down this down one two three and then I think oh one of those uh, golden leaves Here's the thing is that I always forget something or mess something up in here and then I have to cut the tree down and do it again. Now here's the other thing though, is that you'll need 
more gold powder to outline where the tree goes. So it's often a good idea to remember these things before you do uh, the growth of the tree. All right, and one the sapling, and as before, bone meal, good to go. All right. All right, finally. Okay, that, that was a very long amount of time. <laughs> I probably just cut away for, for you guys. I might have even sped it up. I might have done both. I don't know. But I now have the natural altar, which is pretty much the core or the heart of nature's aura, uh, if you will. It usually requires some kind of altar to set it up, though. I mean, you can see here that there's all sorts of weird things going on. But let's actually take a look at the book. So that's really where it uh, tells you about what it is that you need to do. It's only natural, which you need to build this altar <laughs> in order to make it, it function pro appropriately. And you can actually automate this. Um, you just need to have things going in and out underneath that altar. So therefore, it's a good idea to actually build it up on like some kind of stand or stilts or just with an underground access, if you will. Um, either way, I think I might put it over here. And I think I might put it up on some kind of stand, maybe some kind of uh, wooden stand or something like that. So I'm going to complete that, be right back, and then we'll probably end the episode. All right, I am back, and the structure is almost complete. I ended up using oak because I just wasn't sure if the structure would recognize other wood planks. It probably does, but, you know, I might as well just go with the oak and see how it goes. Um, but it does need something else when you look at the structure in the book. Let's actually grab the book here. You can see here, it's very difficult to tell what it actually consists of, but in this case, I already am familiar with it. It requires golden stone bricks. And I'm sorry, I haven't been reading as much in the natural aura stuff uh, as I have been on the quest lines, but uh, maybe I will in the future. In the meantime, though, these are made with regular stone bricks combined with some brilliant fibers. So I made myself eight of those, exhausting almost all of the, uh, the blue grass stuff that I had. So I will need to go back and get more of that for any more of these. But in the meantime, there we go. It is now complete. Woohoo! All right. And I think that completes that one short of putting a redstone root on here and hoping things happen. So as you can see here, it's already gathering aura. Sneak to view. Yes. We can, we, there are certain things that you can use to actually see that. So let's get some redstone root, which I think is just a piece of redstone and a bit of grass, if I'm not mistaken, because I've made a few of these now uh, in my hopper hawk creations. <laughs> Let's grab this redstone root. And I think that there's enough aura that I should be able to craft this without much problem. Uh, now, yes, this is just kind of floating on one pedestal at the moment, uh, but don't worry. I will, uh, you know, kind of adjust this and make it look a little bit nicer than it already is. There we go, and you can see that it is using the general nature's aura to create something. There we go. Yep, can we get it? Advancement complete, and now I can eat this wild root and feel satisfied. <laughs> Funny thing is, though, is that this actually will uh, it'll use up the aura in the area if you use it too heavily, and it can drain it and make make things go poorly. So you really don't want to do that unless you have to. But this looks really nice in general. You can also make it so that things are really beneficial in an aura. Um, but for now, let's actually just exit out of this. Uh, and I think we've got the book here. You can complete this. And then I think next we're going into like all sorts of stuff. Look at all this stuff that just opened up. We've got some roots, got more astral sorcery, we've got more wizardry. We, oh, superior spellcraft. Nice. Got with Electro Blobs Wizardry, maybe? Uh, we've, we've got Arcane Archives, and we've got Batania. There's so many options that we're going to have today. So let's take this off. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, be sure to give a like. Woo! <laughs> Subscribe. Click the notification bell. Uh, don't be afraid to come visit us on Twitch. And, uh, you know, you, you can pass the word along to, you know, other people that you may know. If, they, if you think they'll enjoy our content, let's spread the mischief. So, until next time, folks, I'll see ya. Bye! Whee! Can't see where I'm going. I've got a pork chop in my face. <laughs>